What's up, guys, and welcome back to Adventures with Love. I'm here with Shadow Seekers, Paranormal, <laughs> Russell Soul, Rob, and Dakota. And we are at, back at the House of the Dead for the third investigation. Um, we all remember correctly, last time we had a stalker that came and made us leave. This floor has gotten worse. Yeah. Whoop whoop. Rob can tell us a little history that he remembers. Like this house was Shadow Seekers here today with Russell Souls and Dubs. What up? And Rob. Okay. Oh, this house was established back in 1920, shortly after the house was built. Um, three years later, a little girl by the name of uh, Lori Beth, she was paralyzed. She fell down these steps to her death. I think last time we see, we actually found a shoe. Yeah, behind you. a small shoe. Behind you, actually. All right. Uh, after she fell to her death right here, we move into the other room. These stairs right here was not used. Anymore after Anymore that. Anymore after that, these steps was constructed. Oh, uh, Pretty much the whole family and everything that lived here died of tuberculosis. I think it was one one of her brothers, I think we... Josiah. Uh, was it Jemiah? Josiah. Okay, well. And Isaiah. Okay. Two of them. But pretty much everybody else had perished away with Poor tuberculosis. Uh, this has been called the Ouija board house, house of the dead. Yep. I like to call it... We did the Ouija board house right there. there. I think that's where all the activity is pretty much coming from. So. Alright, without further ado, let's get on with the investigation. Yep, I'm going to take y'all up the stairs. I do not remember. <laughs> but, yeah, this is where... I'm on top of the roof, guys. I'm afraid... <laughs> Hey, let's go. Hoo -hoo. Yeah, me and Rob actually on top of the roof. And I'll show y'all. I'm not going to get further. But... Actually, I think this room right here is for her parents Dude, lived at. that's where we got a freaking figure. Yeah. Her parents, after uh, Lord Beth lived in the same room. Oh. I do remember this much. The rooms that they lived in, her and her parents had a fireplace. Yep, it's this one right here. But I do remember we caught a figure in this one day, right here before. We caught a figure right here. Oh, they're bricks. Who would? It was a full battery. As soon as I got to the top of the steps, damn, flashing. Didn't we get evidence like in one of these rooms? Yeah, we also had a little like ball or something. Yeah. Like a basketball. Possibly it could have been belonged to her. Something like that. There's more rooms, guys. That room's all fudged up. Like, look at that. Yeah, I ain't touching that. No railings. Okay. It's a big house, guys. It's like, you see it from the road or something, and you just think, like, whoa. They were supposed to tear it down. Sadly, they are remodeling it or something because like all this wood wasn't here before. 
they are remodeling it, I guess. It's one of these, let's see, it's one of these floors in here. That one in there is bad. Actually, at one time, they was pulling up. Mm-hmm, you can tell, because none of this was like this last they, time. They, was, they, they pulling up this wood in here, selling it because it's antique wood. Yeah. This house is up on auction, uh, on the market to be sold. Um... Actually, I think what's going to happen is when it's sold, this house will no longer be here. It's going to be a done deal because they're already pulling out wood, selling it. Mm -hmm. It's antique wood. Um, so I don't look for it to be here much longer, to tell you the truth. And you, look at these nails. You can, these nails, time frame, look. Yeah. Like I said, the house was built back in the 1920s. So we're talking about old school nails right here. Oh, yeah. But now, back in the... Uh, Back in 19, no, it was back in 2013, somebody moved in here. In 2015, they moved there. They actually one time start refurbishing this house. And for what, uh, whatever reason, they give up on it. What? So. Right back. Yeah. Actually, this is the only means of insulation they had mm -hmm. was wood and sheetrock back behind the wood. Back in this time frame, Ken. Yes, I like to head in the Yep. But all this is just really old school. Yeah, I wouldn't step on this floor right here at all. Nope. I don't even like stepping on this. Hi, Chris. Hi, Bones. Yeah, like I said, this is the third time I've been here. Fourth, technically, I did a walk through here before, too. Yeah, this house, like I said, is very, very active. It's huge. It gives the freaking creep factor out the butt. Mm-hmm. It rolled in, I do believe. Yeah, it was this room because it rolled down, if I'm not mistaken. Did anybody notice when we come upstairs, if that light was still thrown, it was still there at the bottom? I didn't notice. But actually, when we see it last time, it was the light thrown down the steps. Let's see if we can find this light bulb, y'all. Yeah. Somebody's been here sleeping. This is perfect place for the Ouija board right there. It's the first Ouija board session we did on YouTube, if I'm not mistaken. Look at the window, y'all. Like somebody had broken it. <clears throat> but like I said, this is very active place. And like Rob was saying, when it's probably not going to be here too much longer, so we definitely had to get back here before I dig it torn down. But that's how it works with us. We go to these houses, and within months, they're gone. Sometimes days. We got the room pile up Could here. you give us a sign that you're in here with us? Anything, anything at all. I didn't see the light bulb at all. We had a candle thrown at us too, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's where this ball rolled across the floor with here. If I'm not mistaken. This room back here. No, because if you remember the ball, the bigger this room, it was thrown from this room, not in here. 
Go step in that room and tell me the like ten degrees difference. Well, the window is wide open. No, that's true. That's true. Yeah, they got fifteen. Well, you they got hay down here to keep it nice. Can you give us some sign, anything at all, please, to let us know that you're in here with us? You know us. We've been here a few times. I got a surprise today, like y'all. I had a code call before I let Crystal found out. I didn't say nothing about it because I knew we were coming down here tonight. I was telling you about this couple that moved here in 2013. They moved out in 2015. There was a reason for that. Ooh. Why? The flight of steps. Lord Bell fell down. The eight-year-old, the eight-year-old daughter Tanya fell down. That's mm -hmm. the reason this house was left. And she fell to her death down the same steps. Oh. Maybe one of those should walk with them. So there's another little girl that. Yes, another girl fell down these steps. Uh, the reason I know so much about this house, uh, we got a park behind us. It's the girl that I used to go with, and I was real familiar with this house. In fact, the girl I was going with come up here and was watching this girl. But after she quit watching her and got a full-time job, two months later, I just found this out about a month ago, her daughter fell down the same flight of steps to Shoot. her death. So, uh, coincidental, you know, we'll let the viewers decide, but this well, hey, this this right here is new. Yeah. It's a total, it's a total new outlet. These people were refurbing this house. And after this happened, that, it happened around uh, 2015. You look look at the new ductwork. Uh -huh. They was well on their way to uh, refurbish this house. And after this I happened, mean, look at the window. they left. You tell them, well, I mean, this is state-of-the-art glass right here. Uh-huh. Because I remember coming by here. And lights being on in here. Lights off. That's Dan. I had a leaving. That's at the park. I was just recently speaking her. Yeah, we're good. We just wanted to be cautious because we already had a stalker one time uh, here. This is just some missing, uh, actually some information down that's recently found out about this house. I would often wonder why they was here two years and they just start remodeling the house and up and left. But I found out that their daughter had fell down the same flight of steps. Ugh. Ugh. The camera is very blurry. Yeah, my phone's been blurry a little bit too. So here's another new window. I uh, know. That one's not new. Dang, Rob, all these windows are broke. Is that a. Oh, man, my phone's at 15%. My phone's and you know, it's quite a coincidence. Oh, look at the wonders. This is the only wonder that I see so far that it looks like it's new. Uh -huh. This is where the mother and father live. This. This is the room that they stayed at. This is where Lloyd Bell stayed at. Shh. And y'all hear something? Okay. Oh, okay. Sorry, Rob. Didn't mean to interrupt you. All right, that's all good. But I think what happened was when they start coming in this room and trying to refurbish, they just stirred up old memories. Yeah. I think they honestly did. They... They, whatever had laid dormant all these years, when they start in this room, they stir it up a whole bunch of activity. Hey, I can't keep my light on. My phone's at 10%. Ty, right, I'll record a little bit longer, guys. But we do like this place a lot, for real. It's one of our favorite locations. But, like Rob's saying, it's probably not going to be here too much longer. It's, 
If it's here, no, but he would be very surprised. Hang on, guys, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Yeah, or... Oh, either way, I'm going to I'd say the top of the steps. Well, what, what up you want to do? I'd say the bottom of the steps, because that's where she ended up at. Not just one girl, but the other, yeah. both of them. It, you know, it, I call it coincidence if you want to, but, you know, both but steps did, on these steps. Did both girls die of a broken neck? Because that's how the first one died. Yeah, that's how Laura both died. The, the second one... She had multiple bones broke. She was. She actually didn't die at the bottom of the steps. But she, she was died of injuries. She was in intensive care for about a week and then pulled the torch. She wind. had what they call internal bleed mm-hmm. and other stuff going on with her too. So that's sad to hear when kids die like that. But as you can see, just. Y'all, maybe y'all have seen something. I don't know. But this looks like it's the only room. That what was that? That the one that has been put in right here. They had started Shh. refurbishing. Tell me y'all just did not hear that. What? No. That was a growl and a half come from behind me. I didn't hear it. It was like a horror. Hmm. But... This has pretty much been a, a house of unfortunate events. Pretty, pretty much, the rest yeah. of the family died of tuberculosis. Back in that time frame, anybody had tuberculosis, it was a death sentence. Yep. Because they want no cure. Uh, back in that time frame, we had tuberculosis, uh, yellow fever, scarlet fever. Uh, I'd say number one would have been tuberculosis back in that time frame. And yeah, that uh, that took out a lot of people. They yeah. had really no cure. For it whatsoever, it was just a weight gain. Little bit noises. Oh, what was that? It sounded like a little girl. It I, did. I did. That's what I was getting ready. So like, we all heard the same it, thing. It almost sounded like a little girl whisper. Yeah. Uh huh. Is that you, Laura Beth? Well, Tanya, we would like to communicate with y'all and talk to y'all. We promise we're not here to hurt you. We just want to make communication and find out what happened. All right, guys, I'm going to be filming for two more minutes. Oh, oh. Hey, Rimpod. Oh, we got Rimpod. Really? Can you do it again, please? Can you make it go to... You can go over here, and you can go to all the different colors. That won't me. That wasn't me. Is this Lori Beth? Is this Tanya? Could it be Josiah or Isaiah? I think it's probably what we got going on here is uh is some shyness. She really don't want to do anything while we in the room, communicate, but when we leave, she say, Hey, I'm here, come back. Mm-hmm. I think it's I think she's very shy. Oh, We're not here to hurt you, sweetheart. We're here to give you We get out of this nothing but respect. Thank you very much. Is the mom and dad with us? Does Lloyd Brown still roam the hall? Yo, shine the light over there. Oh my God, that freaking... Insulation. (laughs) Yes, the insulation got me.
Do you remember us being here last time? Remember us doing the Ouija board session? How many times we've been Three, four. This four is times. my this is our fourth four. time. Okay. Third time. This is my third. Me and you did a walkthrough here. No. One, two. Yeah, this is my fourth time. This is your first time, right, Chris? Shh. All right, guys, I'm going to end this. Don't forget to go subscribe to Russell. Can you turn the light for a second? Russell Souls Paranormal and Shadow Seekers. And we will see y'all later. Bye, fam.